This episode was brought to you by Slate Black Industries. For M-Lock grips and accessories, visit slateblackindustries.com. And I know he has an SKS, but you remember that one party I threw a while back? The one with the live tigers and all the Swedish people and the um, entertainment. Okay, fine, fine, fine. I'll, I'll give him a call. I'll give him a call. Papa Fuklaw! This is your boy Henry, how are you? I, I won't be you. Okay, uh, I, I guess you're uh, still angry and, and I totally understand that. I'm very sorry for your um, CDs. But uh, listen, uh, look, we're, we're in a bind with Nine Hole Reviews, and I know you've got an SKS, and I think it would be a nice exposure to the world to see that we're still friends. If we were to feature your prized SKS that your father brought back, that liberated from Vietnam, what do you say? You owe me big one, okay? I mean, I could owe you a tiny favor? Favor for anything? Yeah, it's the least I could do for an old friend. Hold on for a second. Alright, I don't want to know how you got this to my doorstep so quickly, but perhaps next time ask your friends to actually use a proper firearm case, but I do appreciate this. You belong to me now. What? This is embarrassing. Do I really have to do this? Your neighbors are watching. Hi. today's presentation with a grouping that I shot after today's exercise. As you can see, the dispersion is to the right and contains vertical stringing. Now this is done with the Type 56 semi-automatic carbine, the SKS. On the same day, with the same type of ammunition, as a control, I shot this with a Type 56 Kalashnikov. And as you can see, there are differences. This one is to the right with some vertical stringing. Now with that in mind, let's watch today's presentation. Enjoy. I think the viewers are also very ready. Did you just pitch around? I did. <laughs> 150. Act. Neutralize. I'm on at 200. Impact. Uh, over the top right edge. Neutralized. Oh, oh. Henry. 250. Oh, oh, Henry. Impact. Off the right edge. Top right corner. Impact. I, I should have to told you that first shot impact was light. Now I was aiming right a little too high too, to be honest. What's that? I was aiming a little too high yeah. because I was using the 200. Yeah. Well, 
I am on at 300. I'll push it to the left a little more. I was holding dead on for those. Yeah, that's why I was saying I should have said something because I saw the first impact hit on the right path. Okay, let's see how it goes. All right. It was right in there. Send one more. Impact. Do you know where it impacted? Uh, that one was on the left half. Okay. Uh, that was short by almost a full target. Hi. Now you're over the bar. Impact. Okay. So I aimed that back on the legs and it was, it worked. So what happened? Why did it? Oh, maybe, maybe between during the reload, I may have changed my sight picture. Uh, I mean, I didn't remember doing it, but I basically, that last shot, I, when you said it was high, I pushed it back low to the legs and it worked. Okay. I am on at 350 for the sake of doing this. I'm going to go ahead and spot over here. Okay. Just off the right edge. Just on the bottom right corner. Don't know where that one went. That was high, I think. Oh! Miss feed. That was short. Just off the right edge. Just off the left edge. Just on the bottom right edge. In there. One more. Okay. Um, I don't know if it's uh, an ammunition compatibility issue. It's not really corresponding to the sights, it seems. I'm on a 400. Okay, I'm using 400 meter sights. Um, I'm going to aim uh, dead on with a dead on elevation with a, a favorite to the left to see where it lands first, okay? Favor about a little bit less left. I think that was on the left edge. Okay, good, um, good winded, but that one was impacted over the top of it. Uh, just off the right edge of the target. Good elevation. Impact. Impact. Okay. All right, I'm on a 450. What sites are you using? 400. Okay. It looked like that was high. High? That's what it looked like. But I was aiming, I was trying to aiming like dead on a little higher. Previous target, I was aiming at the, the tummy a little lower. Okay. So I should come down. Impact. I'm ready. Impact. Nice. All right, so those I had to aim a little lower than I thought it would be. Uh, but with a 400 meter sight, do you think I could do dead on then for 500? If you were slightly below then lower quarter, I think your 400 meter sights would probably cover this target. So probably bump it up to 500 and do a six o'clock hold and see how it does, eh? That seems to be the right call. Water's on. I'm ready. Okay, it was about a target left low, half a target left. Just underneath it. Impact. Just off the right edge, 3 o'clock. Uh, that one. Impact. Woo! Let's I like go. hearing that ring, man. Let's go, baby. All right, so we're recording still. There he is. Let's double That's check that we're still recording. I got it. I got it. You stay there. A major, major request from the internet. Big time. Complete. The SKS. <laughs> Done. SKS to 500 yards. Set it. Sight setting was on 500 meters. Yeah. Aimed a little, just slightly low. Yeah. So this is my. Interesting. Not to interrupt you. 
on your way out there, there were some hiccups there in the middle. Like it was almost like things were good, hiccups, and then back on track and rolling. This grouping again was the SKS shot months after we shot that particular exercise. This particular grouping was shot with the Type 56 Kalashnikov you see behind. Same ammunition, same shooter, same day, shot minutes apart from each other. I thought this was a pretty good control. But, we thought that maybe people would still dispute it. So we shot one more time on a different day, months apart from when I shot that. This grouping was also shot by the SKS with the same batch of ammunition on a day that was months apart from when that was shot. And you, as you can see, same type of vertical stringing. Grouping pushed to the right. In North America, people seem to think that the SKS is a bit more accurate than the Kalashnikov. And that seems to have been passed down, but nobody has really clocked the two rifles. The Kalashnikov is much more difficult to shoot in a prone position if you're not used to it. The SKS is much easier because it is a traditional rifle platform. It coincides with what most people practice basic rifle marksmanship in North America. It feels more like a traditional rifle so it feels more accurate when you're shooting it. In reality, this target at 100, you may very well hit a chest size target. However, our chest size targets are more like this. When you push out past 100, or 150, or 200, this turns into something a little more diff difficult, because this doubles in size, triples in size when you go to 300, quadruples in size when you go to 400. So that becomes a lot more difficult. When Josh calls some of the spotting, uh, some of the targets on where it hit, I don't necessarily change it right away, otherwise I would be chasing it the entire time. I try to figure out where the cone of fire is, and I adjust to it. It takes a couple shots to make that happen when you have a large dispersion like this, and that is why you see that type of result. I enjoy shooting this style of rifle a little more because when you're shooting prone, yeah. You don't have a giant magazine, or right, right, right. as it's they would refer to, to the banana clips oh, right? yes, yes. sticking out. Yes. And normally we have to use another yes. to raise it. And then that, that also raises your shoulder right? and it, it messes with your shooting position. So as a sporting rifle, this is actually more comfortable for me Got it. to shoot. Yeah. Um, so the Type 56 is, is a confusing naming convention uh, for a lot of people stateside, I think. Yeah. There's just um, multiple Type 56s, right? And there's a reason for that. A type 56 family is a family based off of the cartridge. From If you trace it long, back long enough, the Soviets developed the cartridge before they developed the rifles. The Soviets, one of the, one of the big things is they wanted an, an intermediate cartridge. So they designed the intermediate cartridge and then they designed a family of rifles to go around that. The Soviets? The Soviets did. Right. And then they gave the technical data to China with the SKS and then the AK-47. There is a distinction between the 47 and the AKM. Right. What a lot of people think is the AK-47 out there is typically an AKM. Right. The 47 that they gave to China was the initial uh, milled receiver, AK-47. Uh, that in China maintained as the family the Type 56 family of the SKS semi-automatic carbine, the Type 56 assault rifle, which is why on our Type 56 video we write Type 56 assault. Right. And a lot of people think that we're calling an assault rifle. That's the naming oh, yeah, convention. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the anti-gun baloney. Like, yeah. No, like no. that's actually the name. It's a technical. That's a technical name of the Type 56 AK pattern rifle. So take it up with the Chinese. And then the last family member of this would be the Type 56 light machine gun. In Chinese, this is a Type 56 semi. The Type 56 Kalashnikov is a Type 56 assault. Yep. And the Type 56 
which is the RPD, is a Type 56 light, short for light machine gun, LMG. Right. So that was the family that was going to use one cartridge. And it made sense when you were leaving 1945, World War II, right? You know, I do think that at some point we'll have to test that accuracy argument by bringing it back with an optic. I'm sure. And Henry, there's some really, really great ways to add optics to SKSs. There's such great ways. Pioneered by the makers of Tarkov and the makers of PUBG. <laughs> yes, yes. Anyone out there, and I don't know if we should really, I don't know if I'm gonna regret saying this, but anyone out there with a tacoed out clone correct PUBG clone correct <laughs> Tarkov styled SKS, especially if you're in the Houston area, let us know. Yeah. Oh my gosh. We'll, we'll bust out the the shroud and dock again. Yeah, 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 yeah. But anyways, I mean. Enjoyable carving to shoot. I mean, it's a uh, fairly low recoil compared to a lot of the full-size Varieties and as you see from 150 to 3. It's actually I mean, it's it's an enjoyable cartridge to shoot Yeah, is it an amazing platform? I mean, it's a pretty average platform, yeah. but is it a very poor platform? Is it a very crap platform? No, I no. mean if you understand how to use stripper clips and you understand... I, I think ultimately what it all, what the question I always would ask myself is like, at the end of the day, like, would I want to be downrange of this thing? Uh -oh. So, another family of the Type 56. Also out there, if you have an RPD, the semi-auto ones would do. Be happy to review it. That would be the third family of the Type 56. Cool. So. Well, good run. Glad we finally got this one done for the guys. Oh, and indeed. Gals out indeed. There. Indeed. So we'd like to say thanks to our friend, Brandon, up in Shenandoah, who loaned us this Type 56 SKS, which is actually a Factory 26 SKS that, the, uh, that had produced SKSs for the PLA. Uh, this is as close to a PLA issued, well, it very well could have been a PLA issued SKS, and uh, huge thanks to him for loaning this to us. We'd also like to say thanks to our friend Foklong, for the lovely introduction. EIG confirmed, engage, engage. Be advised, right. friendlies. Hello? This is Calvin. Where's Fook Long? I'm looking for Fook Long. Oh yeah, hold on. <clears throat> Hi, this is the Fook Long. What you want? Hey, Papa Fook Long. Uh, I'm in a little bit of a pickle. Do you enjoy arguing with other viewers on the internet on which rifle performed better on practical accuracy? Well, we have a solution for you. Go to our Patreon page and scroll down. You'll find the practical accuracy scoreboard where we have ranked and compiled all the data of all the firearms we have tested on the practical accuracy course. Furthermore, it's already separated into the different categories, so you can go back to your argument as quickly as possible. And whether you decide to support us via Patreon, subscription, or just a normal viewer, we thank you. 